Hi there. In this video I just wanted to do a quick introduction to iStock Photo, show you quickly how to sign up and how you can get 10 credits for free to search for some images, create a light box and then share your light box with your web designer or web developer. So let's jump right in. To begin with, if you use the link provided at um, the bottom of this video or the link that's on the screen here what they will do is it'll get you signed in with 10 free credits which is roughly I think it's about a dollar sixty US per credit so it'll, it'll get you started with at least a few images so to sign up you just basically click on the link here opens up a box where you choose an email a username password confirm your password put your country in agree to the terms and there's a few newsletters here that you could sign up for and then go next step and that'll just guide you through a process of getting you signed in and then once you are signed in we'll just log in okay so the first thing I wanted to show you was how to search for images which um, can be a little bit overwhelming because there's a lot of images on here uh, what we're going to do today we're going to start with business so I'll just type in business and search this is going to come up with all of the images that are tagged as business images okay you can see over here that there's eleven and a half thousand pages full of images which is a lot of images so what you actually want to do is you could start looking through them straight away you might find something appropriate but what you can do is you can start to narrow that down so I thought well how about if I search for images for 2012 and that adds that up to the top here and it'll scan through and that's now reduced it down to three pages of images about 2012 so then what we want to do is we we'll say okay oh yep I quite like that one if you just hover over the images it will show you them in finer detail and then what you want to do is to remember them what you do is you create a light box okay and that's very easy to do there's two ways uh, the first way is just by clicking on the image and it takes you through and it actually tells you the different image sizes down here and how much it costs in credits for each one now this one here is a fairly expensive image even for the smallest size at six credits you'll generally find that the small the extra small images are about one or two credits and then to add it to your light box it's just as simple as coming down here and saying add to light box it says select a light box well if you haven't created one yet you just go create new light box and I'll just grab that and move that up here so I can see it we'll give the light box a name and we'll call it um, my 2012 images and then click add file okay so if we now hit the back button we can go back to our page full of images and what we can do is we can just hover over them and the other way to add them to the light box is say okay this one looks like an interesting one just find this little button here hover over that says add to light box and that will ask you which light box you want to add it to and I'm going to choose my 2012 images add files and that's done so then what you can do is you can basically stay on the page you can go through and you can just just randomly pick say oh yep that one looks quite nice add to light box the folder comes up straight away add files so you can do it at speed come down here oh yeah there's a variation on the color blue one add files if 
file added. Great. Okay. Then you can just go through, keep scrolling through, there's calendar ones, etc. Go to the next page. And when you're done, see I'll just add this one, one more. Add files. Then if you want to go and view your light box and see what's in there and refine those photos, click on, on the top here, which is your account. Come over here to Lightboxes, My 2012 Images, and here they are all stored. So you can go through, you can set, choose whether you want to keep them or not, find your nicest ones, and if you've got a web developer or a web designer that you want to share the Lightbox with, that's very easy as well. Just come down to here to where it says Email, click on that. Add their email address, da 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 da, at da 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 da. Do a little message, hi, these are my images, and click send. And that'll just send them off a link to your Lightbox so they can look at the images that you're looking at. And then if they have an account with iStock Photo, they can add any, any images that they think are appropriate to a Lightbox of their own. So, just to go back over that, we'll get you signed in. Um, and if you use my link, you can get 10 credits for free, as you can see here. It'll show up on your um, profile page, how many credits you have. And if you want to buy credits, that's just as simple as choosing a pack. And you just go through and choose how many you want to buy. You would probably need to buy at least 26 credits. If you're doing a, a standard um, website, you'll need quite a few images, and some of them are more pricey than others. So that's going to cost you $41.50 or at $1.60 a credit. You get 10 for free. And that would probably be enough for a small web project to get some very classy images. And if you think about it, Paying $41.50 for some high quality images is nothing really. Um, hiring a photographer to come in and take them for you will cost you thousands. So this, this is a good economical way of choosing very good images at a very good price. Anyway, that's all for this tu tutorial for now. Enjoy iStock Photo. Thank you.